Look, baby, whatever she is, all you gotta do is start an argument with her, and she'll get mad and leave. I'm not very good at starting arguments. It's easy. Whatever she says, you just say the opposite. Oh, do you really think that would work? Mr. Bentley, if there's one thing George knows, is how to start an argument. <laughs> I see. So whatever uh, Felicia says, I just say the opposite, eh? I think I've got it. Oh, hi. Oh, Harry, you missed the soap opera. Oh, drat. Well, don't fret. I'll tell you everything that's happened. And then we could look at my slides of the Welsh countryside. Oh, Mr. Jefferson, perhaps you and Mrs. Jefferson would like to look at my slides, too. Well, we were Have just... you ever seen pictures of whales? Um, whales? No, but I did see Jaws. <laughs> Jaws? <laughs> oh, Mrs. Jefferson, you have a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, uh, <laughs> Harry, you have such fine friends. My neighbors back home, <laughs> aside from the color. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they're all. Alicia, you're wearing pants. Why, yes, I am. Oh, oh, no, I'm just surprised to see you wearing pants, knowing how Bentley feels about women in pants. <laughs> oh, really? How do you feel about that, Harry? Um... <laughs> he thinks only men should wear pants, right, Bentley? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, that's exactly what I think. Yes, I, I feel that very strongly. Oh, why shouldn't women wear pants? Well, because... Why shouldn't women wear pants? <laughs> oh, come on, Bentley. You're both English. Did you ever see the Queen without a dress on? <gasps> oh, Mr. J, I've never even been in the palace. <laughs> that's what I mean. You don't see the queen running around acting like she's the king. Oh, no, she'd never do that. No, oh, I agree. You're not supposed to agree. I disagree. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my goodness. Is that roast beef I smell, Mrs. Jefferson? But why, yes, we're having it for dinner. I simply must have a sample. Do you mind? Well, as a matter... Thank you. Roast beef is definitely one of my favorite dishes. My uncle, Andrew, who owns a pub in the North oh. Country. <laughs> With roast beef in your <laughs> she talks so much, I'm surprised she has time to breathe. <laughs> I don't understand you, Ben. All you did was agree with her. That's your problem. You're too agreeable. I agree. See, you did it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. J. I just don't seem to have it in me to be intentionally mean. Bentley, the nicest people have a mean streak in them. Even me. <laughs> Just tell her to get out of your apartment. I couldn't do that. Well, I sure could. You could? Oh, thank you, hey, Mr. Hey, J. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, finally, I'll be able to get off the couch and back into my own bed. Wait a minute. And with Felicia gone, I won't be spending as much time over here. Oh, OK. Sure, Bella, you wait right here. I'll handle it for you. Uh, but, Mr. J, please be gentle with her. And my Aunt Elena used to make the most wonderful kidney pie. She would use... Felicia! Mr. Jefferson, I'm talking. Oh, that's all right. I can hear about your aunt's kidneys later. <laughs> Felicia! <laughs> <clears throat> now, <clears throat> Bentley is a real nice guy. He certainly is. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, sometimes he finds it hard to say what's really on his mind. Dig? Dig? Uh, you understand. <laughs> now, you've been staying at his place for two weeks. Now, that's a long time for two people to be staying together unless they're married like Wheezy and me. Oh, and you two seem so happy. That's because we love each other. <laughs> and when two people love each other, it's easy for them to live together. But when one has to sleep on his sofa, that ain't no good. Dig? Doug. <laughs> So anyway, what Bentley has been trying to tell you is that he thinks it's time that you had a permanent home. A uh, permanent home? Yeah, you know, uh... Oh, you Harry! Uh, uh, Why didn't you just tell me how you felt? Oh, please don't cry. Oh, I can't help it. I always cry when I'm happy. I know. <laughs> happy? Oh, yes, you sweet, shy thing. Getting Mr. Jefferson to for you. Propose? Oh, yes. And I accept. Oh, we're going to have a marvelous life together. Together? 